these waters have stood for 11,000 years. These rivers bear the memories of humans long past, of many travels and songs sung. The Georgian Bay watershed covers an area of 20,000 square kilometers. The land is covered by lakes and rivers that act as the major arteries that drain into the bay. Together, these waterways form a vast network of interconnected passages linking land and water and facilitating movement across incredible distances. Towns like mine are but the most recent expression of human interaction with these water systems. Welcome to Burke's Falls. Established in 1876 by David Francis Burke, it began as an old logging town, back when the only way to get here was traveling by steamboat on the Magnetowan River. Log driving was about the only thing that could sustain an economy this deep into the woods. The river used to be our connection to the rest of the world, the original highway, without which Burks Falls could have never existed. Today, however, the river isn't seen as all that important as it used to be. These days, the highway is the highway of Burks Falls. Cutting right through the earth, the highway does a great job of circumventing a small town built for river travel. And ever since it was built, the town has, well, slowly declined. All across the districts of Muskoka and Perry Sound, you'll see a similar story. All of our towns were founded on rivers, on bays, or lakes that at one time we're all interconnected by water travel. Growing up, I wasn't taught the names of the rivers I lived close to. I was more familiar with which roads took me north or south than I was with the history of my town. To me, the biography of this landscape is incredibly important because it reveals that our current way of living in this environment is far from normalcy. It bridges the divide between thousands of years of knowledge and respect for the river systems that we once depended on and the infrastructure we invest in today.